as we've continued to see Rooster Teeth die as a company, well, matters just continue to get worse because now even their products, as we've already seen them before, they look bad. Well, customers are getting broken products when they are mailed to them. Yep, dead company walking. Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, as we continue to see Rooster Teeth fall apart as a company, well, we've taken a look at their products once before, seeing how overpriced they are. Well, I wanted to take a look at them again, because it seems as if there are some very severe issues going on when customers are getting their products, as well as even misleading information about their products. Also, before we get into looking at everything, did you notice how they're not featuring the Neo stuff anymore? Did you notice that? Kind of funny when a character that they were trying to, you know, have a lot of hype around, that they've been ruining, as well as all the rest of the characters they've been ruining for years. Well... They're not featuring that anymore. Kind of hilarious when you think about it. So, here's something interesting. So, everybody knows about this Alpha Beowulf battle statue. I love how, you know, you have this, right? And it looks like it would be pretty good for a product. And if you look at the price tag, though, the price of it is $319.99. The last time we looked at it, it was $359.99. It has been cut down not once but twice from its original $549.95. Also, when you see a certificate of authenticity with Kerry Shawcross, you know it's been tainted. It should only be like five bucks at that point because he ruined it. <laughs> but anyways, so if you look at this, you'll see a lot of reviews here, 11, 3, and 1. And you have 11 five-star reviews, but you look at the one-star review. Even when you look at the positive five-star reviews, they have a couple of issues coming from them. And it turns out that when people have been getting their product, either A, it's already broken, or B, it breaks so easily. I mean, look at this. Don't buy this. I wish I had. This thing came in pieces, and I can't even return it. Plus, it's so fragile that a simple tap broke Weiss's weapon. This is terrible quality and not worth your money in the slightest. What a ripoff. I mean, anyone could have told you that. And here's the big thing, is that I've been told by many people, and I've even seen many things about this specific product, the statue itself, which we're going to get into more, by the way. But, you know, this statue itself, where just the slightest touch of the figures or the weapons just break them. I mean, that is ridiculous, and it goes to show that they don't put much money into the product, because... If it was made to be sturdy, like it should be, it wouldn't break at the touch. But that's pretty bad, especially if it's coming in broken. That's horrible. Absolutely awful. So, this right here is one of the reviews. Beautiful and fragile piece. This statue is very well painted and overall a very well done piece. It is, however, very fragile. I had both Weiss's rapier and Ruby's head received in a state where they broke upon the slightest touch. I was able to glue them back together, but a small piece of Ruby's hair is missing. I also thought Weiss's scar on the eye stood out a bit more than it should have, but overall wasn't bothered by it. You know, thing is, is that I'd be very bothered because if my product just broke at the slightest touch, man, that would be the worst thing ever. That would be a real ripoff. That's not worth $319.99 at all. Like, nowhere close to that if it's breaking that easily. Amazing how Ruby was decapitated. I wasn't aware of how big the statue was until I bought it, and it's beautiful. There is a lot of love put into it. I uh, uh, beg to differ. When my friend and I opened it, Ruby's head was broken off before we even started putting it together, but it's nothing super glue won't fix. Other than that, it's amazing. Now we just have to find a place to put it. You see, here's the thing about this. Who wants a broken product? You know, people don't want their product to be sent to them just so they have to super glue it together. You know, the value is lost. Then again, it's Ruby, so where was the value to begin with? <laughs> but that's my point, though, is that the value at that point has been diminished because it's broken. And some of it coming in broken to people is not good. That's already a terrible sign. And who wants to pay for a broken product? Nobody. <laughs> I mean, I know I don't. Just saying. Absolutely stunning and amazing display piece. Beg to differ. Yet again. <laughs> this is a center console type of display piece. It's gorgeous in every aspect. Pretty weighty too. But be careful. It feels as if it would be easily broken. I accidentally broke Weiss's foot while not realizing the way it inserts. But it's nothing super glue won't fix. Yet again. 
<laughs> that shouldn't be happening. But it gets better because the Ruby Crescent Rose metallic figurine. See, here's the thing about this one as well. There was already an issue that came in from this figurine piece. Now, what was it that came from this that was an issue? Well, you see how it says metallic figure. Well, you look at the reviews. While this is $29.95, it shouldn't be worth that much because look at this. People were stating misleading title. It's plastic coated in metallic paint. I probably would have paid $10 tops for this if I had known. It's leftovers from their loot box year. That being said, it still looks okay. It just wasn't what I imagined. Yeah, see, they'll lie to you just to get the money. I mean, that's exactly what they're doing. They're misleading their customers to believing it's a metallic figure when it's not. So it's plastic with just metallic paint. Another review right here, completely plastic, metallic looking, yes, contains no metal at all. Description is a little misleading, making the price a bit higher than I would have paid knowing it's only plastic. The only thing that the merchant response says here is, hey there, thank you for your feedback on this item. We've updated the product description to reflect that it's plastic based on a metallic coating, despite the fact that it still says metallic crescent rose. Still says it, only in the description does it actually say that it's not metallic. You know, you should say metallic paint, but it gets better because look at this ruby winter action figure t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, people would prefer an actual figurine of winter rather than just a t-shirt. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. People would want a t-shirt, too, of a character, you know, if Ruby was still worth something, if people liked it. But <laughs> action figure t-shirt, like, are you kidding me? Just have a t-shirt with winter printed on it. You don't even have to have it be an action figure t-shirt. Whatever an action figure t-shirt even is. <laughs> This is a joke. It really is. Like, this is so bad. And then the Ruby Series 4 Ruby figurine, right? So I've been hearing of cases where people would have theirs come in, and, like, it wouldn't even have a head. <laughs> like, it would come in. The head was just completely gone. It wasn't even in the box. Like, it was just gone. And they would get, like, the Ruby body, right? Like, the figurine's body, but the head is just missing. Or I would hear of cases to where, like, the arms would, like, fall off. <laughs> like... You know, what kind of material did they pay for? Like, they had to have gone with, like, the cheapest material possible to put these figurines and other products together. Because if it's this bad that some of them are just breaking at the touch, I mean, this is horrible. <laughs> this, this is so bad. I mean, Rich Teeth is just a joke as a company. And, you know, you see the Ruby Yang Zhao Long figurine. Now, this is actually, from what I was seeing when I was looking throughout all their products, this is, like, the best product they have from what I was seeing as it has like the highest reviews and it looks the best realistically if I had to tell you which one in my opinion looks the best this one definitely looks the best and even with this figurine while it's getting you know the best reviews out of anything that I've seen well think of it is is that while that's going on there are still problems with it I mean look at this five stars four stars you know there's no three two or one stars everything seems pretty good but then it's when you go to the reviews that you learned a couple of things that aren't good. Now, for the most part, like I said, positive. But there's something that stands out within these reviews, and I want to take a look at that. So you take a look here for one. First thing, great item. Wishing for re-release of Weiss Schnee figure. Great figure. Well worth the money at clearance price. Don't hesitate. Get it while you can. I find myself wishing they would re-release the Weiss Schnee figure. Because apparently they don't re-release figurines. You know, they have them, right, that they had them up at one time. They don't re-release them, though. And that's already the problem in itself. And this is what you also want to look at here with this Yang one. Well, it's a part of a set because you have Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang. And these actually look like the best ones. Like, I mean, if I had to tell you out of all the merchandise, this is like the best quality you're going to get at this point. So, this person stated this in the review. Pinnacle of Ruby merchandise. This Yang figure is one of my favorite things that I own. All of the 1 8th scale DI Multo Min figures look so amazing. And I hope they make more Ruby characters, though I highly doubt they will. If you have the chance to get this, I would ASAP because the prices of these figures are not nice in the aftermarket. Ruby Rose is about $600. I mean, expensive. And... Thing is, is that while this is expensive, I mean, they all look nice, as they're the original designs, too, which are the best ones, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, then you look at this. 
Amazing figure, I'm glad I bought it. The Yang figure is great, very well detailed, but my only problem is that the box has been punctured. I was a bit disappointed by that, although the puncture does look cool and adds a cool effect. Kind of wish it was better. Other than that, I would say it's worth it. And then as you can see here, there's the puncture. I mean, they get this product and there's a puncture in the box. Like, what? <laughs> like, you don't want a collectible in its box and then the box has been damaged. Like, that is not a good thing right there either. I mean, seriously, this is ridiculous. <laughs> even the best product that they have still left right even the best one comes in in some way damaged i mean they have misleading titles for some of them like the crescent rose one or they have the grim statue with weiss and ruby and it's just they're broken it's easy to break just by touching it I mean, it's absolutely pathetic. goes to show that this dying company, when they make their products, it seems that their products are just made out of the cheapest material they could possibly get for the product, and then just think that, oh yeah, we could, we could definitely sell this for like 300 plus dollars! <laughs> they think that they can just swindle people out of their money while they sit over there pushing their cat cans aside off of their desk, you know, that they eat out of every day because that's all they have the budget for. <laughs> and they think they can scam people. Goes to show how far Rooster Teeth continues to collapse as a company and why you shouldn't buy their products. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you were new here and make sure you were still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you were still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released as well as any other upcoming events in the near future so be sure to follow me on discord the link is in the description down below but anyways i hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today and remember if today was not a good day tomorrow could always be better take care of yourselves and everyone around you and have yourselves a good one out there everybody